So in this video, we'll be talking about the obturator nerve. This is the obturator nerve and it is a branch of the lumbar plexus. It is formed from the ventral divisions of spinal segments L2, L3 and L4. It is initially in the pelvis and enters the thigh in the obturator canal. And within the same canal, it divides into this anterior division and the one in behind that is the posterior division because this is an anterior view. So what does the anterior division do? There is this muscle that is sort of coming in between the two divisions. This is the obturator externus muscle. Initially, the obturator nerve is over here before it divides. And this anterior division, it passes in front of the obturator externus muscle. And then it descends downwards beneath two muscles. In this one, this is the cut section of the pectineus muscle because the anterior division is underneath this so if, if this were intact you would not be able to see it it continues downwards beneath the adductor longus and what is the muscle that is beneath it that would be the this muscle over here the adductor brevis right and so it continues downwards beneath the pectineus and the adductor longus and in front of the adductor brevis and where does the anterior division terminate? The anterior division terminates in this part over here. How does it terminate? By supplying or giving or innervating the femoral artery when the femoral artery is in the adductor canal, which is in the middle one third of the thigh. In addition to this, um, the anterior division is known to give branches to the hip joint and contribute to the formation of the subsartorial plexus along with the um, you know some other some other nerves um, whose name like the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh and there's this third one anyhow this is plenty important now if we move onwards to the posterior division the posterior division passes posteriorly as you would expect Separated from the anterior division by a few fibers of the, um, as if I forgot to tell the muscles that are innervated, the adductor longus is innervated by the anterior division, the pectineus is innervated, the adductor brevis is occasionally innervated by it, sometimes it's innervated by the posterior division instead, and additionally the gracilis muscle, which is the medial most and the most superficial muscle of the medial compartment, is innervated. Posterior division passes behind the obturator externus, right? It also passes behind the adductor brevis, but in front of another muscle that is the adductor magnus, right? So this supplies the obturator externus, occasionally the adductor brevis, and oftentimes the adductor magnus muscle. Now, what does this do? By the time the posterior division has entered into the adductor canal, it has been reduced to a small descending genicular branch. Along with the femoral vessels that are present in the adductor canal via the adductor hiatus, the, this posterior branch it enters the back of the thigh that is into the popliteal fossa. What does it do then? It then pierces the ligament which is unfortunately not shown over here known as the oblique popliteal ligament it then supplies the cruciate ligaments found in the intertrochlear notch and occasionally it also supplies it ends or some of its fibers at the very least end by supplying the popliteal arteries hopefully this was of some help at the very least